Oh my God. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you guys how to vacuum your pool with the Intex sand filter. If you have an inch and a quarter hose, this is the video for you. When you watch videos, they'll show you how to connect it to one of these holes that you have. You got one right there and one right here. I'm gonna show you guys how to connect it directly to the pump. That way you get a strong suction to suck all that dirt out of your pool. So you got your inch and a quarter hose, right? Then you got the hose that your pump comes with. So what you're gonna do here is you're gonna connect the inch and a quarter hose to your inch and a half hose. You're gonna use two hose clamps in order to connect the adapter piece. This was uh, about $2 maybe at most at Lowe's. I had to cut a piece off. I used just a regular saw to cut it off, to saw it off. I put two hose clamps on to clamp them together and uh, it works perfectly. Like I said, you have this inch and a half hose that your pump comes with. So I have it bungee corded over here to my frame and uh, I have the hose right here that I'm gonna connect to the pump. All right, so before you connect this hose, make sure you have the other end in the pool. All right, throw your hose in the pool, whatever you wanna do. First thing you wanna do before you connect this directly to the pump, make sure that the hose is full of water. So what I do is I just put it right here where it's pushing out the water while the pump's running. Get water in there. You can see it kind of floating up right now. See it moving around. Making sure that the hose has plenty of water in it so that uh, there's no air when you start the pump up with this hose on here so it has a great suction. See it filling up, it's kind of floating to the bottom. First, we're gonna turn this off. Your water's gonna start shooting up. So what I have up here is a bungee cord. And the hose that's connected to your pool, you can pretty much just uh, take this bungee cord and put it right here too so that it's above the water so the water doesn't come out. And then I have my vacuum hose connected. And remember, it's full of water right now. So I'm gonna turn this pump on and let's see what it does. This is the inch and a quarter and this is the inch and a half. There is no leaks the way I have it right now, you guys. So make sure you guys like and subscribe for my little ghetto rig and I appreciate that. Right now, you're all set, everything's connected. You can start vacuuming your pool. I don't wanna run the pump on filter because I think if you're sucking too much dirt up at one time, this is just me, a little bit of the dirt still gets in the pool. So it's not filtering it completely. So what you do is when you're vacuuming, you're gonna turn it off first. You're gonna put this thing on um, waste. Put it on waste mode. And you're gonna shoot this water out. Take this cap off, turn that pump on. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get in the pool and I'm gonna show you how fast these leaves come up. I'm gonna open this up right now and get all the leaves out that that hose just sucked up. Turn this off again. Water's gonna shoot out. I don't know if I should've put it on clothes or what. Look at all these leaves, this thing just, look at it. You wouldn't have got this with that small suction if you connected it to one end. Anyways, clean that out and uh, run it again as much as you need. Okay, I'm gonna do a challenge for you guys right now. If I can close this thing with one hand, with this water shooting up, you guys have to like and subscribe. Ready, if I can do it in five seconds. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my God, I did it under five seconds. You guys have to like and subscribe right now, all right? What, Sky? Huh? You wanna give a shout out to who, Sky? Hey, definitely a shout out to this channel for subscribing and liking our videos and uh, commenting good things. Make sure you guys stay cool. I'm out. That's a corny line. Was that too corny, you guys? <laughs>